Hi, my name is Christopher Pratt, and this is Idea News. In February, we had a few things happen. Notably, we had a Palooza on February 1st. It was very good, everyone did great, I think. And after that, as usual, we had a home study day, because home study days are always after Palooza. If you haven't figured that out, what do you, what do you, how? Or you're in sixth grade. In that case, you have a pass, because you're a child still. A bit after that, we went on a field trip to the paper mill. Let's see if uh, the paper mill was any cool. Well, I guess that's for you to decide. Later in the month, we had some exciting stuff happen, such as multiple people in this school took part in the Beauty and the Beast musical. I know. I also went. It was good. Uh, Tarek was a clock. That's what I took away from it. Thrown in there in February, as every year is, we had our favorite, uh, favorite, depends on who you are, Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day. But remember, kids, <laughs> love is dead. Anyways, coming up in March, we have a few field trips. Two field trips to be exact. There's a hiring fair on March 7th. And then immediately after the hiring fair on March 8th, I know what I did there, yeah. We're going to a dairy farm. The one at NTC, to be specific. Isn't that exciting? Later on in the month, a few days, on March 12th, we are very excited to announce that the juniors are taking the most important test of their lives, the ACT. Yes, you should feel bad for them, and you'll have to take it too, unless you've already taken it, in which case, yeah, sorry. There's an informational meeting for students, maybe thinking about coming into IDEA, happening on March 14th. And if you have younger siblings or friends who want to come here, tell them about it. It's an information meeting. There might be snacks. Probably not. There's water. Water is a snack. Finally, in March, we have a Project Palooza. This is for the products that we have made throughout the year, your favorite project of all time, but hopefully one that you've done semi-recently. That's happening on March 21st. You know what's right after that? I said it earlier. Anyone? Anyone know? Any no? <laughs> Disappointing. There's a home study day. I know, that's crazy. No one's ever thought of that before. Seriously, come on, you, you, it's happened twice in one video. Unless you're in sixth grade, then you still have a pass, because you're a child. Now there are some birthdays, because people often get born. The birthdays are as follows. We have Aiden Lewis, Kira Lewis, Ethan Amelsey, Colton, unspecified last name, Rajowski. and then keeping with that unspecified last name group, we have Ooh. Lainey, Natalie, Emily, and Cantrell. That's all the birthdays that are listed. And last but not least, Caitlin. Yeah, she was also born. Spring break coming up in however many weeks it is when this comes out. That starts on March 25th, goes all the way the whole week until April 2nd, which is very good. Now, on to our favorite parts, the segments. Now, on to the challenge. Now this challenge is good, it's hosted by Yours truly, and also a clock. All right, now for our monthly challenge. This month's challenge, we're throwing bean bags into the hole. Our contestants this month are those two lovely gentlemen over there. You have this one and that one. Okay, so the goal to 1v1. You have 10 bags, throw them from right here. Whoever scores more points wins the prize. It's a great prize. You'll learn about it later. Scoring works if it lands on the board, that's one point. And if it goes in this hole, that's three points. Anywhere else, that's no points. We'll start off. You two rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. That's out of three, obviously. We're not starting for Ooh, 
Oh. All right. First contender is Sam. All right. Let's count up this total. Two on the board, three in the hole. That is 11 points. I know how to count. I came in expecting to actually put something a little bit better on the board there, but I'm confident in my ability here, and let's just hope that maybe my opponent over here makes a couple of mistakes. Um, yeah. And just see what happens. Are the bags and hit the board. Uh, I think that's the only way a person can really get this done the right way. Uh, my opponent had a great strategy. Uh, the bag tossing method for him uh, went really well, but I think I perfected it just a, a little bit more. So All right. we'll see how the points work out. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> miss throw, miss throw, miss click, interference. Oh. And that's our day. Let's count up his points. I don't know uh, if you're uh, an expert at math. Let's call up our math expert. No, no, that isn't. That isn't. That is seven. All right. So, follow me here to our second destiny. Who do you think played a better game today? Uh, I think. Good. What about you? Who do you think played a better game? Well, you know. Right. Then, yeah. You know. They bring up fair points, but. At the end of the day, they don't matter. Our winner today is... It wasn't close. It was not close. You might be wondering, what did Sam win? He won. Hooray! What a good challenge that was. Very proud to hear about it. Now, on to the weather. With your favorite host for weather. And there's a lot of ice everywhere, so drive carefully. Back here. Ah! That was good weather. Now on to our interviews. Multiple people interview people. Multiple people will be interviewed. Here they all are. Wow. Thank you, Jason. We are here to interview Natalie. So, you are a senior this year, correct? Yes. How many years have you been going to IB, or what was your first year here? What grade was that? Um, this is my fifth year, so I've been here since eighth grade. A senior project that you're planning or currently doing this year? Um, my senior project is creating a dance short film. So I'm doing all of the choreography, filming, and all of Sophia costume. Alright, thank you. Back to you, Jason. <laughs> so, hi. Here, we have Tarek. Hi. Good old show. He, you know, has been here a while. How long have you been here, Tarek? Jeez, like, since sixth grade, so like five years. Five whole years. Now, Tarek, we have a few questions that we're gonna have to ask you <laughs> okay. by law. Mm. What is your least favorite color? Least favorite color? Least favorite color. Probably yellow. Yellow, it's controversial. <laughs> Hurts my feelings. What is, now, as a question number two, mm -hmm. Your favorite day of the week? Uh, it's kind of a simple answer, but Friday. You know what I mean? Friday. It's like not like so Friday. So he's nights. basic. That's what he's trying to say. He's basic and boring. Wouldn't you agree? No. Okay. Anyways, Tarek, you've been here for five years. There's just murders happening. Don't worry. That's sometimes. I know. Been here I've for been five, here. Yeah. Been here for five years. You hate the color yellow and also women. You hate the color yellow, and you love Friday. Uh-huh. But, you know, do you use two-in-one in your hair? Uh, I mean, I'm a man who doesn't. I don't, because I care about my hair. Anyone who does, you should stop. It's really it's, bad for your hair. I actually think I use it's, other kinds. It's bad, it's bad for your hair. It's like argue Look at oil. this. It's bad now. Well, it's because you're pulling on it. That might be true. But Tarek, on that note, what's your favorite project you've done? Favorite project I've done? One of my favorite ones I've done recent, 
recently was uh, I did a group project with Ty, who I think we interviewed him at one point. Probably. Maybe. Um, we did a, we choreographed a fight scene and like filmed it and edited it and did everything ourselves. Mm. It was tiring, but you know, we, uh, we pulled through it. You actually helped out with it. I, I, I did. I yeah, acted in that. You were, you were in it. MVP right here. That's, no. that's probably one of my favorite ones I've did done. Did anyone recently. give anything significant up for that project? Um, Ty's brother gave up the Peter Griffin Fortnite emote for that. It's truly unfortunate. Anyways, that's it for the interview with Tarek. Now for our next interview. Here you go, next interviewer. Thank you, Jason. So here we are. Uh, we're gonna go find Amila to interview for News. Amila, Amila, hello. We are going to be interviewing you for Idea News. So, Amila. Why do you think people should come to IDEA? Uh, I'm being forced to say Duvere is awesome. He is awesome, though. Duvere, all the advisors are really cool. Uh, well, that was good aim. Say Duvere is awesome. All the advisors are equally very cool. Miss Alicia is amazing. The students are very respectful, except for Cameron. Um, Erm... It's probably a lot more fun than the other schools because the other ones don't probably don't really give you as much ways to, I don't know. Learn. Learn. <laughs> big brain. What's your favorite part about IDEA? <sighs> the fact that the kids aren't rude. There's a lot of really cool kids here. <laughs> There's a lot of really cool kids. Okay, okay, and finally, what is your favorite TV show? South Park? South Park? Huh. <laughs> Back to you, Jason. Good interviews. Well, that's all for this week. But before you go, remember, 